for live. What up, homie? What's up, Facebook? Let Facebook. us know Christmas. Let us know if you can hear us. Merry it's a Christmas Fuck miracle. Christmas. Oh, oh yeah. Bob, well, we'll, we'll tell you. We'll talk about it on the show. Christmas miracle episode. I'm ready. Um, I w- yeah, we're live. We oh, are ready. Yeah. We are live. <laughs> if, uh, if anybody's watching right now, please comment on the sound quality. Please let us know. And then we will start. <laughs> Shit. Not right now. We're not ready yet. <laughs> I, was, no, I was like, I was ready. <laughs> Actually, you guys, well, why don't you guys, one of you guys pull it up real quick. And I got it here. TS it. it. What? Yeah. Play oh, te- oh play I told Ricky to pull sounds. this. Hello. Check, check, check. 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 Oh, we're good. Check, check. Oh, we good. Cool, cool. All right. It's a bit on a delay over there. No, it's cool. You guys ready? Yep. Probably hit record, though, on my side. Yeah, yeah you should do that. And now we are go. Hey, yeah. Hi, I'm Ricky Rubin. Hey, I'm Ricky Rubin. This week on Humpcast, Steve Rogers drops in to wish us a happy Merry Christmas. John Wick is back with a vengeance. Ryan actually likes something, and I hate it. Nicholas Cage channels Vinny Chase, and Kentucky Man pocket dials a confession. You're listening to Humpcast. We hit it already. Welcome to Humpcast, everybody. The show where a couple of buds get buzzed, wish you a Merry Christmas, and get drunk as tits. I am Ryan D. My name's Garrett Lee. And I'm Ricky C. And today we have uh, <laughs> Tan Ricky, a.k.a. Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Blacked in America. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> a.k.a. Steve Zizo with that beanie. A.k.a. <laughs> Tyrone Bickham's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming at some point. <laughs> like, somebody fucking stole my black beanie. Fucking so Ryan. I was like, fuck it. It's going to come. I know it's going to happen. Yeah. You're the I first was, one. I, was, I waited till the <laughs> show. <laughs> So what's up, everybody? What's up, it's, it's a uh, Christmas miracle, Christmas by the way. Miracle. Not only do we yeah. actually have Ricky back, like we said we Bruh. wouldn't, uh, we, have black, we have tan Ricky, too. Yeah. <laughs> we got double the Rickies. Yeah. Uh, we start up every show with an alcoholic beverage of some sort, and since we're all together celebrating, that doesn't make it any different. Nope. <laughs> what the hell are you saying, the, uh, Same dude. thing every week. <laughs> I thought I was bad. <laughs> yes. Okay. We're a little uh, deep in these drinks so already. R- I guess you guys are doing the same thing. What are you guys drinking today? Oh, Miller High Life. Yeah, keeping it fucking real. Yeah, keeping it fancy. fancy. Ryan, Ryan with his hat. Of beers. Ryan, Ryan with his fancy hat has his pinky up. Yeah. Drinking those High Lives. Uh, this is a Caroler hat, by the way. Email my lawyer Caroler hat. Oh, okay. Shut up. They don't pay us yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, don't, they don't pay us. <laughs> so I got to block that out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ricky C? Uh, I, I'm keeping it real with the, uh, the sh- eggnog and brandy. Show our crowd what you're drinking. I mean, you really, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but this is eggnog. With it looks brandy. fancy in it. It also looks, also, you look festive as fuck. You and, do look uh, festive. Yeah, you look, it matches your sweater. You yeah, look more uh, festive than last week. <laughs> yeah. Where, I know, because we I literally didn't have a fucking a... Uh, Christmas sweater, and I had ordered one already. So oh, it was on the way. I just didn't week. get it in time, so yeah. of course. Why the fuck didn't you then, tell uh, us? I, I did. know you should have told us to we be festive again. We would have been festive again. I thought you would because it was Christmas. Like, Well, I still have my beard here. I have a green shirt and a red cup. Does that help? Yeah. Boom, it's this. Christmas. Merry I'll fucking Christmas, everybody. Merry, <laughs> Merry <laughs> fucking Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> and uh, I'm drinking E and J brandy. Nice, the fancy stuff with the nog, fancy. dude. I Nogging love how it. fancy and we are. Nog. I think we're the fanciest podcast on the air ever, ever, ever. <laughs> live on Facebook ever. right now. Yeah, <laughs> on, even <laughs> even a podcast about being fancy, we're fancier than that. Yep. Yes, exactly. And then uh, yeah. me to continue the fancy. Uh, I'm drinking a gin and tonic. With some Bombay Sapphire mm. that I finished. Grapefruit bitters. Mm. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, not gin and tonic. I thought there was tonic here, but apparently there wasn't. So mm. I'm having gin and uh, Fever Tree beer. <laughs> Can't even say shit. Fever Tree <laughs> ginger beer. We all cannot uh, talk about and then And then a splash of St. Of Saint Germain elderflower liqueur. So nice. I'm fancy as fuck. Oh, and then uh, lime slices because fancy plus one. There you go. Yeah. Bruh. There we go. Um, uh, should we do? Ah, should we do this right now? Oh yeah, sure. I got you guys presents. Well, actually, they're swapped. They're uh, this one's yours. Oh shit! Yeah. Nice. Here you do. So Santa. sweet. Here, I, got, I got you a present too, but I didn't wrap it, so I'll, I'll give it to you after we open these. Well, here, yeah. So that one's yours, and that one's yours. All right, well, thanks, bro. Ricky, go first. I go first. Yes. Also, uh, I'm gonna just show off the wrapping first. There you it's go. Pretty sweet. 
Star Wars. Star Wars. I was like, or I could wrap paper. it right the fuck now. Star Wars wrapping paper. That's actually left over. You want to reuse this? <laughs> I'll keep it nice. <laughs> I don't know how it lasted all year. Uh, yeah, it looks good from man. last year. Sweet. I needed some wrapping yeah, yeah. wrapping pointers. Camera, there you go. <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck is this? It's a solar bobblehead. Oh, that's awesome. It's yeah, solar Iron Man bobblehead. What? <laughs> Oh, that's cool. So that it keeps so going. Sweet. Oh, shit. I left the price tag on there. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm not going to show that part of the camera. No worry. Don't worry. Thanks, don't worry. bro. This is awesome. I put it on my fucking car. There you All go. Right. That's a perfect little spot for it. It's pretty cool. Thanks, man. All right, I'm going to open mine now, and I'll give no you batteries yours. No need it. Did you just wrap it? I, <laughs> I, I love the wrap job. <laughs> Wrapped it in toilet paper. <laughs> it's, it's a good job, no? Well, it you go good. first. It even says Ryan. All right, I'll go first. Thanks, man. Oh, cool. I, don't know, wait, I don't know if I got power in here. What? I'll go for it. Nice, it? dude. Look. Green Ranger wallet. Oh. oh nice. Let's go. Uh, get, get my shot glass, Ricky. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> my fucking shot glass, bitch. <laughs> no. uh, just because of that, I'm not going to get it for Aww, you. So thanks. So. Oh, and there's a thing. I think it's... No, oh, that's just, that was just oh, in there. Never mind then. It's like a yeah. Power Rangers thing. That's awesome. Nice, All bro. All right, cool. Thanks, dude. There you go. Nice. And then, uh, you. there you go. All right. What is this? It's sick. <laughs> I can keep all my stuff in here now. <laughs> toilet paper is my favorite. It's my fancy. I bro. thought my you were. Favorite thing. It's fancy, fancy shit. Turn around. Are these darts? <laughs> they're not only regular darts, but they're both steel tip, and then they have conversions to plastic oh, tips, dude. Oh. so you can play That's on awesome. both types of boards. Oh, fuck yeah. Nice. Thank you. Which, those are a lot fucking... Thanks, man. They're a lot more rare than I thought they would be. I was like, what the fuck? I thought that would just be oh, easy. for them to like switch tips yeah, over? Yeah, they're very passionate about just one of yeah, each. Yeah, really. Like, fuck yeah, they child. even come with a snazzy case, too. Yeah, Ooh. exactly. So oh, there's yeah, the bar and everything. Yeah, exactly. Fuck exactly. Yeah. I was going to say we can go to, uh, do, go to the dollar and play with the soft tips. and then Or I could take them with me. And then you and can then take them <laughs> anywhere. We, or that. Or and I could the, give, <laughs> give you the solid tips. Yeah, and, and then... And, hey. <laughs> But yeah, so there you go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. And I got the pen in. That was much less impressive than the bottle this cap, awesome. but I'll take it. Thank you. Thanks, dude. I like this. Merry. <laughs> sorry, Steve, Steve sorry, is totally Sorry, Steve. We didn't yeah, know you were sorry, coming. Sorry, Steve. Yeah, no. It was just kind of last minute. This is a little last minute. We got you more beers. <laughs> <laughs> I bought those. <laughs> I got okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> And that's the end of Humcast. Thank you so much for listening. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry I'm not going to see you guys on Christmas, right? Christmas is this Saturday, right? Yeah, it Christmas is. is this Saturday. Saturday. So oh, shit, last week was our holiday episode because we thought Ricky was out. But spoiler alert, we're uh, filming this on Monday or recording this. Recording. Rather. We are, we are record, uh, live on, on Monday. But uh, so, yes, because both not now both Ricky and Ryan are going to be busy Tuesday. Yeah, and we had to do it today. I wasn't working today, so we got it. And it worked out like a Christmas miracle. Christmas fucking miracle. Yeah, I got uh <clears throat> I got offered a spot at um Madhouse Comedy Club in uh San, San Diego, Diego, right? Yeah. Nice, man. <coughs> yeah. Bruce is headlining, asked me if I wanted to go. AKA he needed a ride and I was like, fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Hey homie, you wanna drive me somewhere? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Cool. But uh, yeah, so Matt and Matt, I love Madhouse, so I can't turn it down. I love that place. That's a cool place. Nice, yeah. man. But anyway. Okay, uh, so uh, I was going to say, we're yeah, going to get ahead. in the weekend. Uh, we all did something this weekend, except for Steve. <laughs> I mean, oh, I did bro. something, but I <laughs> no, didn't I'm do kidding. that. I, I was going to bring in. going to do the one thing. The one thing, to do. the most popular thing that most <laughs> well, people did. Well, I asked somebody here if they wanted to go see it, and they told me no. Fucking Ricky. They were busy. <laughs> yeah. My fault. And then they went anyway. So Sorry. Yeah. I Fucking know. I feel wrong. really bad about it. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> even think about it. Uh, if we've kept you in suspense long enough, we all saw Rogue One this weekend like any sane American. Yeah. Uh, any 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 uh, warm blooded American, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, well, I, we all saw it at different times. It's kind of was weird and kind of sucked, but um, we did get to get around to seeing it, except yes. for Steve. Sorry, I didn't. Steve. Yeah, I didn't not want to see it before the episode too. So yeah, that was that was very important. Plus, it's like also spoilers were because I know spoilers were heavy in uh, what was it episode seven. So I was like, right. dude. I, I got, I can't I wait see over. Any, I, I, I can't wait. I gotta go. I, yeah, that too. And I, but I just kept seeing people posting about how good it was on Facebook, and then, uh, b- so like I would just see it was like Rogue <laughs> One's amazing, and, bl- and like here's my review, and I was just like fuck you. 
Yeah. Ah, yeah. I mean, like, it's, I mean, really, if you know, the, like, the kind of story going in, though, you, it's it's not really I mean, a spoiler. Yeah, story. you can't really spoil it. Did, spoil they, it, did yeah. they Did they get the plan? Is that they what happened? Got em. <laughs> they they get em. got them to the rebel. Spoiler right. alert. Spoiler alert. But there is some really cool, like, visuals and, and stuff that kind of. Yeah. You, and if you're you, want fan, people, you want people to experience themselves. Yeah. 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 And so, like, I mean, I we could say spoilers, because that's the thing. It's, it's like the grand scheme of thing. We all knew. It was a story about these people getting the plans to the rebels, and we knew that they succeed because that's the beginning of Star Wars. Um, yep. But we don't know everything in between, and so that's a lot of the cool stuff that I was very surprised at a lot of stuff that they got to pull off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, just I, the transition into like a New Hope too. It's like it just fucking like it's pretty. You can like literally like if you could just start New Hope like right as soon as that ends. It just go perfectly. <laughs> yes, it is. It is very perfect. Like, oh shit! So a lot of people were telling me that they wanted to watch a new hope as soon as they walked out of the theater, and then yeah, I was. Definitely. I, that's how I was too. I'm like, God, I wish I wasn't so tired. I would, just, I would put it on right now. <laughs> yeah. But uh, definitely, like, we're not going to spoil it. Obviously, for you guys, uh, it's a great, great. It's a great film. Um, I won't say it's like. What, what, how would you guys rank it? Like off the top of your heads, because it's not. It's not bad at all. Like, no. but I would not put it. Just oh, say, say just say three, like if four. you were gonna rank all of the Star Wars movies together, like yeah. where would this one be? I want to say top three, top four, number. Four. Wait, I what? have to watch it again to really know if I'd like it as okay. third. No, no, I, I was saying I was telling Gary. Oh, like, you mean, you mean, oh, you mean if like you were gonna rank, rank all the Star Wars movies after seeing Rogue One, like yeah. where would Rogue One be on that list? So rank it. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I, w- I will say four. Definitive, definitive, four. Definitively four. Wait, what's three? Shit, no, never mind. I'd say three. God damn it. I think I'm going to say like at least, yeah, two or three. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It was good, man. Like th- like three. <coughs> I, I, know I really I'm, enjoyed I don't, it. I have Fourth the unpopular opinion of, of liking Return of the Jedi as my favorite. No, I, no, 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 I'm why? with you. Like, Return of the Jedi when I was a kid was my favorite one because I was a kid and I loved Ewoks. Right. You know? Yeah. That's um, my favorite And one. so it's still, okay, like, I, it still holds with me. Well, like, the I Ewoks, I have no fucking problem with, with uh, Ewoks. I fucking I, love the Ewoks. Yeah, no, they were, they were Amanda, shut up. There's no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Ewoks are in it. Spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> in Return of the Jedi, the Ewoks save the, the Rebels. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I probably, I'd say top three. That's my third. Yeah, it's, I think it'd be my third. Uh, unfortunately, a new hope falls by the wayside to like number f- four. Yeah, yeah. but right. I mean, like, but this, like, I mean, like, that's what thing that I was like, new hope can be like a little bit boring, but now as you kind of know, like, what happened before a new hope, like, yeah. kind of like makes it a little bit more better. Like, it almost kind of like, rejuvenated a bit. Sure, yeah, yeah. You learned some new things. Yeah, there was a lot of like really good info that like yeah that, that really helped it. That you, yeah, you, that really boosts that yeah what that movie sure. means. Yeah, so yeah, for sure, it was fucking great. Really puts the war back in Star Wars. Well, th- yeah, that's yes. the thing. I, like, it very much is a very much movie. a war movie. Yeah. But uh, I wish, like, I mean, it's obviously not rated R, so you don't see all the cool slash traumatizing things. But you kind right. of they're implied. <laughs> I know, but you don't really need that in movies, yeah. though. Yeah, unless you're gonna make like, you know, a Star crazy. Wars movie, you don't. Need yeah, if you're not gonna do like you know something like that. Justin's like, asking what movies to watch. What so what movies should we watch before we go watch that one or re see? And I said, I'm saying none. Yeah, go, go watch A New Hope as soon as you're done. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. This yeah, is actually very interesting because this is probably the, well, not the only. This is one of the Star Wars films that you absolutely don't need to know shit. You you yeah. you definitely have a better better experience if you know other things. Yeah, really. But you don't have to know shit about it because it straight up leads into A New Hope. It's and just, he was right. Re- watch that after. Yep. But, yeah. But you don't have to know anything going in. Like yeah, they explain in everything. But there are Easter eggs, and as somebody who watches and and reads like a good amount of other things, there's a lot of cool Easter eggs. Especially, I, I know you guys don't don't watch it, but uh, one of the things that it does have a lot of Easter eggs about is uh, Star Wars Rebels, yeah, which is the uh, Disney XD cartoon that they currently have going on. I yeah. heard about that. And so I, I like as a as a as a Rebels fanboy, I'm like, oh my god! Like when I was seeing certain things or hearing things, like nice, super cool. That's and then awesome. yeah, it just ties in everything, which is really cool. Uh, uh, somebody mentioned in the comments, and I was going to bring it up anyway, the score. Um, Who did the score, by the way? Michael Giacchino. Okay, so it wasn't John Williams. It was not John Williams. Oh. And so here's the thing. a lot of, There was a lot of stuff with the score. One, it's not really memorable. Two, they say it sounds similar to other things. But yeah. Can't I, really, I wouldn't have known it wasn't John Williams. The only thing... Well, he, yeah, that's good, good for you. The only thing that I have to say for these people is uh, 
Michael Giacchino had like a few weeks to do this. I think he said he. I think oh, he shit. had six weeks to make this to whole score. score. Yeah, for the entire movie. For the whole movie. That's impressive. Right. Yeah. But it, I, it did bother me a little bit. Also, they hmm. wanted it, him. Really to, they wanted him amazing. to keep it separate from the Star Wars. Uh, Tri- or the uh, episodes, which is why there were so many, and in my opinion, a little bit of jarring like separations. Uh, I'm not going to spoil. Well, I can, I, mm. this is the exact beginning. There is no opening crawl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there isn't. No. no. Oh, okay. And that's not that's not like spoiler. a spoiler. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up spoiler. if you're complaining <laughs> about that. Yeah. There's no opening crawl, and I, I, that pissed I, I, me I, the w- fuck off. I was kind of waiting for it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like the stuff I hear that about you, it going in. You ex- well, yeah, exactly. But uh, like, it's not like a, a plot point. No, no. Uh, you hear about it going in, and I'm like, God damn it! It did pull me out just for a split second, but I kind of. But you don't really yeah. like. But they right, did, I haven't seen it, but I, I don't, don't think care. you really need a crawl. No, yeah. I didn't you care know? for it. Like, I, didn't, I, I, I didn't. I expected it, but it, it, it didn't take me out of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it didn't bother me at all. All right, well, the, it bothered crawl, me the crawl was what based off of like old Flash Gordon serials. Mm. Who the fuck yeah, knows things who like Flash that. Gordon right. is yeah. anymore? Like, eh. yeah, but it, it's it's now become I think more synonymous it's with kind Star of, Wars. Yeah, than it's kind Flash of iconic. Gordon. But but I think just because it's like not a Star Wars movie, it's one of their like in between. It's, it's okay a Star to, Wars story. It's okay, yeah, not yeah. To have <laughs> three and a half. Exactly. Yeah, three point five. Three point five. Yeah. But uh, so but I want to say, one, man. Uh, after I want to watch it again for sure. I've only seen it, dude. It was funny. I watched it with my brother opening the so Thursday. We watched it Thursday, and I think the showing was eight o'clock. And the the theater was packed, and like I told you, this is this is the first showing in this brand new theater. The tickets came out late. Everything else was sold out, and this one still had some left. And when I got there, everything was packed. And like he saw it then with me, then he saw it again. At, I want to say one with his other friends, and he saw it again on Friday <laughs> with my family, and I was working. And so I'm kind of jealous of that because I want to be able to see all the stuff. Because he oh. said every single time he picked up new stuff. Oh. Like like most movies, but it's like yeah. this is the one that you really want to like catch different things. Yeah, I I heard that they really like went into the details. If you can really pay attention to yeah. it, yeah. There's a lot of Easter eggs and a lot of really cool details that I I, I want to check out again. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking good. Uh, I watched it in an empty theater. Really? How? Well, Sunday wow. night. <laughs> He's like, uh, download it. The theater <laughs> was my bedroom. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, we went and saw it at the Krikorian last night, and it was uh, wow. I got like I wanted to get there early. I got there an hour early, mm-hmm. thinking that there was going to be a crowd. It's a nine o'clock showing on Sunday. Yeah, so, okay. I mean, that's not oh, that late. It's not that late. But no. apparently, that whole theater is playing it. So oh, like, like, oh, every so every yeah, single yeah. one. Oh, oh okay. gotcha. Yeah, so that entire theater is oh, fucking, that makes, it's fucking yeah. Rogue One. Yeah, and so, was it a regular? It wasn't like three D or anything. No, it was three D. Oh. But like they don't have like an IMAX theater, so it was just like mm-hmm. it was like that. Uh, what, LFX? fucking yeah, that one. Yeah, okay. I saw the same one. And. uh God, I still, I, I don't think, I think I'm done watching movies at the Krikorian, dude. Really? Why is yeah. that? I mean, they got a cool little arcade, but it's just, I, it takes me out of the movie that the, that the volume is so low. Really? Oh, it's so low? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's odd. I can oh, hear okay. people talking behind me. You well, know what well, I mean? fuck those people. Like, but like, mm. but you know, like, like whispering, you know, like I, and I don't know what they're saying, oh, but, but, just... but I can hear them. So, you know what I mean? Like, you know, when you're in a movie and you lean over and say something like, Oh, that's uh, you know so and so or yeah, whatever yeah. you know like I can hear that happening behind me you know like and it's not like an annoying not in an annoying way like the, you know they're talking about the plot or whatever but but it's like when there's explo- but it, like explosions it, going yeah on but like when there's like a battle scene happening like okay. I can still huh. hear other things you know like <laughs> it, it kind of takes me out of it you know okay I just think that I mean we had that problem with like the Avengers once before remember we saw the, Is we that we went like a too yeah we saw Avengers there oh, okay. Uh, Age of Ultron. Yeah, yeah, I remember and, that. And Jason had to go and complain. That's <laughs> right. Tell them to turn the volume up. Oh, yeah. oh, cool. So, okay, so Justin is saying, which ones should we see? Should which movies should we re-see to better the experience? And to, to that, I want to say, like, like we said, watch Star Wars before. after. Yeah. yeah However, said it. if you have watched or you have access to Rebels, it actually does t- tie in more to Rebels than any any other movie beforehand. How many seasons is that though? Uh, right, uh, it's in its third right now, but there's only two. <laughs> so and catch up, binge watch. No, I'm saying like if if you if you like, let's say you started it before, like if you yeah, ha- yeah. if you have some way to see it or whatever, they're they're twenty something minutes each. They're not like you know Walking Dead where it's an hour, right? Yeah, yeah. but it actually ties in That's a lot cool. to that. I'm gonna watch that. Yeah, this this is really cool. Ellie Rodriguez says the only thing was the music was very similar to the Star Trek movies. Yeah, and that, that's what we were saying about Giacchino not having like, that much time. Oh, I actually yeah. think that Doctor Strange, which also was Giacchino, sounded way more like Star Trek than Star Star Wars or Rogue One did, I mean. So, like, 
Yeah, I will say that I don't like 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 right now I can't think of a single theme in Rogue One that that's in my head. Whereas, you know, I can still remember uh yeah. Ray's theme from from episode 7. You know. Sure. But yeah. uh yeah, there w- it w- Yeah, whatever. It, it was, was a right. lot of stuff that was like underlying uh music that was s- like kind of ripped from uh the original score, but just other shit on top of it, so you kind of change kind of so. this yeah. is slightly <laughs> different than Star Wars. Yeah. It's like it's like you know Full when you like you, it's like <laughs> when you when you watch like a TV show and they're doing like a parody on it, yeah. but yeah. they they don't have the copyright. Yeah. Uh, they don't have the the, 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 the yeah. copyright for the yeah. for the music, so for they the do like a really knockoff version <laughs> of it. It's slightly different than the <laughs> yeah. song you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, sounds similar, but it's not. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's what it's. That's Just what it reminded me of. This is not Star Wars. <laughs> Uh yeah. So uh, any any last notes before we move on about Rogue One experiences? Go see it. Go, go see, see it. it. It's for uh, sure. I mean, even if you're not even even if you're not a Star Wars fan, it's a great movie. This is a movie you could just jump right in and then Actually, fucking that's just a, start. That's start a the great trilogy. fucking point. To be honest, yeah. this is a great jumping off point. Let's say that you've had some sort of stigma because you heard something about maybe the prequels or something. This, just so you know, is a prequel. Yeah. This is a prequel. Yeah, it's a, it's a prequel to the to the <laughs> originals, but not <laughs> the prequels in which this is a sequel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But, just but night not, and day right there, bro. <laughs> but <laughs> not but not of the new one after the original prequels, but <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's the newest one. Yes. <laughs> just know that. <laughs> Go watch it. No, but I like this. And and uh so uh, I, w- I mean, I, I look at a lot of stories to sort of prepare for this. And so I knew like a lot of stuff going in that uh, the, the heads of, of Disney who own the just Lucasfilm. big talking heads. No, the <laughs> big old Mickey heads. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm really worried you imagine about this that's, <laughs> that's all it is. It's just like Mickey heads and jars like on a like like Futurama yeah, style. Yeah, like Futurama. Yeah, yeah. Shit. And it's Walt di- Disney's frozen head in the back of the fucking screen. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. At the at the head of the uh of the fucking the It's board. actually different yeah. generations of Mickey, so you have like Steamboat Willie and <laughs> yeah. Willy. Oswald, you have uh, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Mickey Mouse over here, you know. Uh so they were saying that like sure. Rogue One was kind of like a risk because it was the first movie, Star Wars movie that's not in the trilo- or not in the original yeah. episodes. Well, they've yeah. been talking about this shit since I got uh since I went to D20 the D23? Yeah. Not yeah. D- Is that the name of the yeah, expo? D23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Expo. yeah, so I, when I went to the expo, what, like fucking six years ago? Yeah. Seven years ago. <laughs> 60 <something>. years ago. <laughs> they were, uh, yeah, like six years ago. They, they were showed up like promotion art, didn't they? They showed, they showed their plans. Yeah. And, and this was before Star Tours was coming out. Plans and they, and they showed, Star. they showed like footage of the, of uh, what Star Tours was going to look like. Yeah. And then they oh, talked shit. about, then they talked about the Han Solo standalone and, and Rogue One. And and the uh, you know the sequel yeah but crazy like, I think they've this been is talking about it for you know for like a decade you know yeah. if not yeah. more yeah had but that shit in the back just waiting to get yeah. fucking pulled up because they were saying that this is a risk it, it, I thought it was hilarious <laughs> because it clearly shows that this is really not much of a risk no uh, yeah, this not is at the all. This no is, you can't say it's a risk at all because I mean it's Star it's Wars still Star yeah. Wars it's we're gonna make a Star name. Wars movie we don't know if it's gonna work out like sh- no <laughs> shut up yeah. <laughs> yeah it's gonna work out everybody's gonna be like yeah. shut up and buy my, <laughs> <laughs> shut up <laughs> and take, take my, my money, money. Yeah. yes exactly and that's the thing uh, so I know they said they officially have the Han Solo on the slate Han Solo film on the slate um, I will say after this and this is in the trailers you know he's in there Darth Vader's in there. A lot of people want a Darth Vader solo movie and Obi Wan movie. Oh, we don't need shit. it. Don't need it. I don't think so. Don't. And that's the no. thing. We had a we had uh, a Darth Vader movie. Yeah, we kind of. We had did. three of them. Those yeah. are called Anakin. Anakin. Those are Anakin movies. Um, uh, no, we don't. We don't Anakin goes suck a dick. <laughs> I don't know. I, we don't need it. We really or don't. or we can just tell different stories in the fucking realm of Star Wars. Yeah. Like we don't need to know yeah. about the Skywalker. I want a fucking Knights of the Old Republic movie. I How wanna... about a fucking Admiral Akbar movie? How about yeah. Shadow? Yeah. That's me from just. <laughs> Something else, like we don't need to. Shadows like, of the it. Empire, dude. There that you go. Too. Like you, you have so have much a lot of more stories yes. you can tell within Star Wars besides yeah. the fucking. Which is Death why Star I don't. Skywalker. I don't, don't about think the, that they're gonna run out of stories anytime soon. What about Absolutely another not. Christmas special? Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was your Christmas <laughs> special, bro. Back out. <laughs> have you guys seen the fucking uh, the footage of the Star yeah, Wars yeah, Christmas yeah, special? You can find it. Oh my god, god awful! It's amazing. Just makes no sense. Yeah. Like it just like what happened here? Yeah. What if you <laughs> who got super high, 
And this, this is a good idea. This idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, back in the day, like you didn't have the standards as high as they are now. You could just put out shit like that you would yeah, find man, on like really bad oh, YouTube real channels, bad. and they'd be like, yeah, oh, George, George is good. George Lucas himself has said that he wants to find every copy and smash it with a hammer. Yeah, yeah. really. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. It's I, like saw, I was high on acid, and I just said yes. On YouTube, <laughs> somebody made this like edit of Air Force One. And uh, Star Wars, where Han Solo jumps out of the oh, Millennium yeah. Falcon and fights and, uh, Jar Jar fights Binks. Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. He's like, get oh, off of my get plane. Off <laughs> <laughs> and throws Jar Jar Binks out the fucking window. And in, I was like, that, it's so that's good. better than Star Wars Christmas <laughs> special. Yeah. It's so good. It's like, a, yeah, it's just a it's super edit of it. Yeah, from Air Force One and Jar yeah. Jar Binks. And then, oh, yeah, and then he runs him over with the Millennium Falcon, which is pretty funny. Spoiler. Nice. Fucking spoiler, spoiler. Ryan. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. It's a YouTube video. Yeah. So, Steve, what's up? <laughs> what's up, guys? How you I've been doing, man. Uh, I've been doing all right, man. Like, we, we are... We are VR. Yeah, we are we, VR. <laughs> no, no, I'm actually... No, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm actually... We're I'm 90s act, kids. <laughs> I'm actually in a pre-production right now for yeah. uh, my pilot um, that I wrote a while back. Tell uh, us about it. Nice, man. Yeah, we're going to be filming in March. Uh, Ryan's going to be a part of it. He's going to be acting in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, just television show, kind of like a workplace comedy. Yeah, you got to give me a deadline so I can lose some weight. <laughs> How about start March. now? Yeah. Start now. You have till like mid March right. is when we film. Right. Um, but no, it's just kind of like a workplace comedy. These guys who work in a like comic book store in LA and just kind of like um, the things they get themselves into um, in terms of just like dating, just day to day life. Uh, just really, uh, I guess you would say maybe like a Seinfeld meets like an Always Sunny. Kind of like okay. a throw it together, which is a little more ridiculous shenanigans that goes on between their day. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I read the script. It's pretty damn funny, man. I'm, I'm pretty excited to be a part of it. Cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just basically it's like what it's like. Clerks meets yeah <laughs> meets uh, what did you say? Seinfeld. Yeah, and, I said Seinfeld. It's always sunny. Like uh, always you, sunny. Yeah, that's you could throw it in a lot. Like Clerks was like uh, the. I mean, I'm I'm a huge fan of Kevin Smith. I think I don't know if we all are. Um, but yeah, no, Clerks was like, it, it just, it spoke to me. I liked it when I was younger, but it spoke to me more as I was older. Yeah, for as sure. I be, as I became them, working some shit job with these right, terrible customers. Right, right, And having those dumb conversations with your friend that either you work with or, you know. You know yeah. <laughs> that Star yeah. Wars conversation is hilarious because if you watch Force Awakens, uh, I saw Kevin Smith tweet out the, the dialogue that Finn says that when he was saying that he was only in a... What did he say when when he was on the fucking the thing that as a stormtrooper his job was oh like sanitation san- <laughs> sanitation oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sanitation and then so so Kevin Smith tweeted that out like right underneath the conversation that he was having with with him and Randall or whatever and they're like with Dante and Randall and he's like so that means you know they blew up the Death Star don't you and it wasn't even done in Return of the Jedi it wasn't even finished yet yeah. he's like so don't you think a bunch of contractors just got murdered by the rebellion. <laughs> 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 That's true. <laughs> and then they were talking about like, so do they have regular jobs or are they like, or were they a bunch of stormtroopers that knew how to do that? And so, and that was the conversation. And, and then when we got that from uh, Force Awakens, then then uh, Kevin Smith tweeted it out. He's like, I guess we got our answer. Stormtroopers <laughs> no, do know how to do handiwork. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go. Yeah. So um, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited, man. Like I wrote this thing maybe about a year ago. Um, had a couple drafts, but you know, you know it's good. You know, I, I I know the material because I've had these situations before, and like I've had people read it, they they told me they like it, and so yeah, I'm really excited to you know get it done and do all that. Like we're in the process right now of just trying to lock down a, a couple locations, but by March we should be filming. Hopefully, we'll be done. Hopefully, with everything by like May, maybe we'll maybe cut a trailer. I don't know if we'll cut a trailer. Um, I would say don't. Yeah. Well, I Fuck think, trailers. We yeah, I think we'll probably just have a screening somewhere. Um, nice. You know, whenever that happens, I'll find a theater. Get that'd the, be cool. Right out. Do like a small time theater in Pasadena. Yeah, nothing that. nothing too go. big. But yeah, no, that's what I'm working on now. And I'm pretty excited. And then also at the same time, I mean, we haven't worked on it in a while, but me and Ryan are trying to write a... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're trying I'm, to write I'm a giving, full feature. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, now the holidays hit, so... Yeah, you know, shit happens. People get busy. It happens, but uh, yeah, no, we have this other feature that uh, we're me and Ryan are trying to put together about uh, a guy doing stand up, 
much akin to Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, yeah, no, it, it just it seems like a, a pretty exciting year. You know, we got a lot of projects on the table that we're trying to get through. And it seems like none of this shit, you know, like anyone will see it until like 2018. Though. Oh, yeah, it'll be well before everybody <laughs> yeah. can see it. But that's fine. You have an uh, exclusive you, clip. Yeah, yeah, but we're working on the drawing, on one, drawing room floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. It's, ha- it's happening, at least. You know, yeah, me and Ryan nice. gotta just meet more and sit down and work on the script a little bit. Yeah, um, but other than that, yeah, um, that's about it. Now I'm on break and I don't want to do shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're on a break. I don't want to do anything, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's party. Yeah, let's, let's go play darts after this. <laughs> I'm down. Let's go. <laughs> cool. Anyway, so, get uh, yeah, let's get into uh, Ricky stories. Ricky stories. So what's up, everybody? Uh, this is Ricky C. We have Microsoft, Nintendo, and PlayStation. There's actually a really big expo going on right now for video games. It's called E3, announcing a new hardware system. This is Ricky Tech News. What's up, Ricky C. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. So Yay! I have, <laughs> hey. I have one story here, and uh, it's actually, I think it would make the kids nuts here. This is very fucking stupid. <laughs> there's, a proposed, <laughs> there's a proposed bill that was going to block porn from computers sold in South Carolina somehow. Like That's uh, in the title. It's like, yeah, somehow <laughs> they're trying to do this. You can't stop porn, dude. Stupid. Fuck you, uh, people who govern South Carolina. Yeah, and like the details here like just make no sense. Uh, so it says South Carolina Representative Bill Chumley has proposed a bill that would make it slightly more difficult for people in his state to watch porn. The bill would require manufacturers to install digital blocking capabilities on their computers that would ban access to internet porn. Uh, but his plans just don't end there. The bill also suggests that a loophole for its own, uh, yeah, suggests a loophole for its own requirements. Manufacturers could choose to pay twenty dollars per device to opt out of the software installation, and buyers could pay the same amount to remove the porn filter as long as they verify they are 18 or older. It sounds like they're just holding porn hostage. Exactly. Yeah. That's <laughs> exactly what they're fucking doing. Which is some it's of the porn that we watch. Yeah. Is hostage this porn. This is some bullshit. You no, know, the, the end of the day That's is just different. like, why, <laughs> why, why do you care if someone just watches porn at home? At home, minding their own business. Yeah, not well, I guess because they're trying to crack down on kids watching porn. Yeah, hey, that's a parent issue. Yeah. yeah. That is you know, part of like a government out. issue. That is part of growing up. It isn't up. a parent issue. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but like Garrett said, it's a part of growing up. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm actually, not... Garrett's house was one of the first places that I watched. I was going about to say that. <laughs> that I watched I think pornography. We were, we were 12 years old when we uh, watched we, one of my. It was a fucking greasy old VHS <laughs> tape. <laughs> uh, I'll say this. I, I, I was like, he's going he's gonna to find out now. I, I stole my brother's, one of my brother's uh, porn tapes. VHS when I was like, when I was like 11 nice. or 12. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, so it's you, my guys, older brother. you guys, I got, I got gold. <laughs> yeah. I got some gold in my so, like, hand. All the neighborhood kids went over, sat on the couch. I, we were like eight deep in my living room it, watching whoa, porn whoa, together. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, eight deep what, bro? <laughs> God damn. Jeez. No, it's true, though. There was like, there was eight, like, you know, preteen boners. Just <laughs> one of my favorite parts, though. And this is... <laughs> There we go. <laughs> exactly. Found a good fucking use for that drop. Yeah. Yep. The, uh, one of my favorite parts. Uh, this this is our old, our old pal. He lives in Alaska now. He, well, he works there, doesn't he? Is it Alaska? Alaska. Alaska. Or it's an oil rig. Where is it? Oh, oh. Paul, uh, yeah. He he works now in the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, that's completely Alaska. opposite. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you talking I was about? like, Jesus oh, Christ. Oil rig. I'm like, Alaska. that would have been way worse. Because then he's, <laughs> he's be freezing his balls off getting oil. Uh, <laughs> one of my favorite parts w- was that uh, on that VHS, one of the oh, women yeah, oh, I looked yeah. Exactly like his, like his mother, and I, I was oh the first God. one to point it out to him. <laughs> and 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 over like like wait, okay, so th- we were eleven or twelve. Yeah, he wouldn't live it down until we were well past high school. Where yeah, that's garbage. He's like, well, at least my mom wasn't in porn. That was like if that was the other yeah. Thing. Every comeback. yeah, we fucked it. Yeah, every time. Shut up, Paul. Your mom was in the porn. <laughs> <laughs> we all synced it. We synced it. <laughs> and he's. <laughs> he used to get so mad. He's like, shut the fuck up. Just because she had black hair. And then he was like, dude, you ruined porno for me for like five years. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, this is this is, there's no way this is gonna pass. It's just too ridiculous to No, don't don't fucking be surprised. I mean you're, you're I don't know. Are you wherever with the tr- South yeah, and the Bible fuck, Belt? That's true, man. I don't Our know. Shit could Our president 
That's true. Remember, let's say, oh, this there's no way Trump would be president. Know, right? Yeah, remember when we said that? Like, you, remember? Know, you guys remember? Guess, you remember yeah. that? Now yeah. you're gonna have like just people smuggling in old fucking DVDs and VHS porns of fucking South yeah. Carolina. That'll raise the value. Yo, no, we <laughs> should like think about crazy. doing that. Like, we can make a little, little porn ring, dude. Who knows? Man. That's really creepy because your your <laughs> audience would be underage. <laughs> my, like, no, people. no, it won't no, be underage. No, that's not true. If it cuts off for. For adults as Just well. Just meet them in the church parking lot. Well, no, it's not true. It yeah, says yeah. 18. It, yeah, it's, I got you can prove, you. Yeah. yeah, if you prove you're 18 and over, then you have the you know, option to buy in $20. Uh, how much? 20 bucks? 20 bucks. Nah, 20, 20 bucks for like a whole year or what? what it just it? says $20. I mean, no, I think it doesn't say there's a time frame. I guess they're like $20 just they, in general. Like a it forever. They figure if you're 18, you gotta pay you're not going to get younger. Yeah, I don't know. It makes sense. Or just like bit torrent. Some of the best, the, the better porn yeah, stars. Yeah, exactly. Like, or continue yeah. to do illegal things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. On the internet, there's ways around this. The internet. I mean, the government can't catch up to the internet. That's just no. Mm. They can try to govern as much as they want, but yeah. it's still going to be. Or on the outskirts, because you said it's on computers that are new. sold. Yeah, sold in South Carolina. Yeah, and new computers. If you're on the outskirts. Oh yeah! First of all, you have all these computers that are not even brand new. Yeah, go outside the state to buy your computer. Yeah, exactly. Or Aaron, just buy have you online. been to the South? You've been in the no. Midwest. I've been. That's I've been easier here in said. It's, it's easier said than done. There's not shit much yeah. out there once <laughs> you get out of the big cities. All right, so here you go. Uh, hire Ricky C to uh, install TeamViewer on your your thing, <laughs> and then just hack it so that you don't. I'm gonna start a porn. business where we just yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Hey Ricky, can I have another nog, dude? Yeah, man. Ooh, Let's finish this shit up. Damn. So uh, pour me some more brandy in this one. And that's the end of my story, so let's get into Garrett's story. Let's do that. If I can find a fucking... I may have some news for you. Go ahead. Entertainment news, everybody. This just broke out. Um, that is a scientific fact. Huh? I'm not going to get to this story. <laughs> uh, I have a question for you. A new story that will make you guys a little bit tingly in the fans. Okay, we're going to move on from that. I need to get away from that real quick. I read somewhere that their periods attract bears. I'll give you cool. Thank you. one guess as to what's in number one this week at the box office. What the fuck else is was brave row? enough <laughs> to try and come out? No, there is one, and it's, it's hilarious. It's a hilarious story, but I'm going to tell you. Let me see your straw. <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> clearly, uh, Star Wars Rogue One won the box office this weekend. Of course, they won America. They won everything. Yep. Okay, so Star Wars Rogue One actually broke the record of any December opening not currently in the Star Wars universe. <laughs> so every wait, other wait, movie wait, that was not called Star Wars, uh, it, it beat that. So good, good for them. $155 million oh, it shit, made this weekend. Christ. <laughs> Only surpassed by Star Wars uh, Force Awakens, which is episode seven, uh, last year. Wow. So there you go. So it, it did <laughs> pass Star it? Wars. No, uh, it, uh, Force Awakens opened up more, but it passed every other December opening in history. So you just say it's the number two December opening. It is number two. So what was no- number one was Force Awakens. Exactly. Oh, okay. And so I'm saying that it, it beat every other movie oh, not, fuck, not thought, called Star Wars. I thought it beat Star Wars. Uh, no, 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 no. Fucking Force Awakens. That would yeah. Be crazy. It beat every movie not called Star Wars uh, in, in any December op- opening. So good for that. Uh, there was one brave soul uh, who opened up counter to uh, Star Wars, and it was Will Smith. Fucking Will Smith. What movie was that? It's Collateral a- Beauty, bro. Did we even talk about that? that? I haven't even heard, I haven't of, heard that. of that. I think I might have said something. Oh, yeah, we did. I did say is that. that. Why we, Last week. Is that why we ended up doing the... Uh, the Fucking Prince of Bel Air theme. Yes, it was. Oh, that's right. It was because I was like, oh, this is like a, uh, what is it? It's a Wonderful Life meets all this other stuff and blah blah. blah. Uh, and then yeah, we got yeah, into yeah. that. Yeah, it was terrible. No wonder I didn't care. So interesting thing. Two thing. Two major things from this movie I've heard. One, it's a horrible movie. Don't go see it. All right. Two, it is one of, if not the best performance by Will Smith. Damn. Better than ha- Hancock. <laughs> better than when he killed better, the dog in I Am Legend. Better than all of those. Uh, I want to say it's pretty good. I want to say that yeah. uh, something that was brought up was what was it? Uh, Pursuit of Happiness. I have still uh, never yeah. seen that movie. Because, really? Because I, really? I hate I hate Jaden Smith so much. Because like, he I, was that, a that's fucking like baby. Like that is like that is also he turned into a little asshole. Yeah. But I don't really want to go back because then I then I'm gonna be like oh. And I don't want to do that. This I is actually Jaden Smith's best performance. I hate, by the way. I yeah, hate exactly. him that much. Like I don't even want to watch a movie that I know was good. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Well, I was gonna say this is before Jaden Smith uh, knew what the internet was. I can't even watch the weird. Just, yeah. Can't even watch the just the two of us music video anymore. That oh. wasn't that wasn't Jaden though. Oh, that was that? his like other kid. That was the other one. I think it's Trey. I don't know. There's, I don't that, know. there's like another one, kid. One normal. I know one he has a, he has a daughter and a, and a son. He's another one. No, he's got he's got Jaden Willow. Three. But he had an older kid before those two. Uh, right? Not not with Jada Pinkett. Not with no. Jada Pinkett. Uh, somebody else. Uh, so that that's song a, just two. That's a yeah. sane one. He's got the little kid. That was like one of the first albums I bought when I was a kid was Will Smith's Big Wiggly Hey, but Jaden Smith is on one of the the albums like saying something, though. Well, I don't want to hear that. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Don't want to hear put out any music anytime soon? No, he doesn't need to. Why yeah. the fuck? Will Trey. Smith doesn't need to do shit. <laughs> yeah, you're right. His name's Trey. Oh, He's Trey. Always, uh, Trey Smith. Trey Smith. Good for Trey. <laughs> uh, yeah, good for Trey for not being a fuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like he's one of those uh, child star or not child stars but like star child children that didn't end up <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, I mean, he know. just denies it too. They're like Smith. Any relations? He's like, nope, 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 not at all. Nope. Smith, like that. <laughs> My dad's name was John. Yeah. yeah. Like, anybody ask? Like him. they're gonna go straight to Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're black, so yeah, you're black. So there's only one. Well, you're related to Will Smith, right? Exactly. It's either no. I don't. Who, who's another black like Smith? Celebrity that we know of, uh, no one, right? I can't think of any. No, yeah, no, no, no. John Smith. <laughs> no, <laughs> right in there. Uh, so yes, he was in Collateral Beauty. I heard he did a great monologue, great performance. He actually went through some sort of like uh, real world turmoil during the shooting, which he said he channeled that emotion uh, in his performance, and that showed. Uh, what however, did? Where did, where did he go? I think his dad died or something. Uh, um, Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil, Uncle Phil. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude, I would bro. be okay. So I would be so sad well, if Uncle, Uncle Phil, Phil died. is dead. Yeah, he is he? Did. Yeah, he yeah. died. Like what that. the shit? Like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> he did oh, die like shit. Shit. <laughs> he died like three years ago. This <laughs> <laughs> is rude Christmas for Garrett, bro. <laughs> this is news to me. It's also, it's also Shredder. Shredder died. <laughs> he did Shredder's voice in the cartoon. Oh really? Oh, Damn, bro. I didn't know that. <sighs> what? Yeah. This is uh, James this is Avery. <laughs> yeah. That's when did he die? Twenty thirteen. Three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, 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 no, 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 that's not it. Hang on, let me see. <laughs> he's like, oh no, he's alive. No, he did he's die. He's alive. He did die. In oh, twenty thirteen. That's right. Yeah, yeah. twenty thirteen. Yeah. December thirty first. Twenty thirteen is when he died. So it's been almost it's exactly almost, yeah. <laughs> years. Yeah. Wow, New Year's Eve. That sucks. Ladies and gentlemen, a tragedy has occurred three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> We're breaking it here. <laughs> I didn't know he died. <laughs> breaking news. <laughs> I, I, mean, I loved Uncle Phil. To, oh, God to be fair, I think that was before we started doing this podcast. Otherwise, we would have. <sighs> yeah. That's probably what happened. We, I, we, weren't, we weren't keeping was our eyes up for, my, yeah. for news the way we, we are now. <laughs> that is horrible. All right. Yeah. Well, I don't even... Fuck collateral beauty. <laughs> <laughs> it, made, it made seven million dollars in the domain. <laughs> Could bring that performance when Uncle Phil died. Yeah, Will, Will Big Willie, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, so budget was thirty six million, and it, it made seven in its opening. So good luck, <sighs> good luck to that. Se- thirty six million, <laughs> and that's without oh, market without shit. marketing. That's oh, just man. yeah, no. that's not gonna oh, that movie got near that. Up and yeah. Why would you go against Star Wars? Well, I don't okay. think they know. They, they, like, no, uh, the, the only the only no, you, thing they, is counter programming. It's like okay, this is not the audience for Star Wars, but the audience for Star Wars is everyone. So I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. Yeah, uh, I don't either. Moana came in at number two. The fuck did you call me? Mo, <laughs> Mo, <laughs> Mo, <laughs> Moana is still good. It's fourth week at number and it's at number two. So good for that. Uh, good for the Rock. Uh, Disney, of course, they're fucking just bathing in the middle. They're doing the, yeah. the what is it, Scrooge McDuck? Scrooge McDuck and just right dive that into their coins. <laughs> thing. Jump money cash. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I really, really loved Moana. Have you seen it? I have not. You have, right? I haven't seen it. What the? F- I'm, I'm not going to ask. What? He left. All right, cool. Yeah, he just he heard about Uncle Phil and had to go. <laughs> he had to go uh, cry. Uh, number three, you have Office Christmas Party, which is in its second week. Good for that. Uh, so let's see. I haven't seen it, but I'm I'm still kind of interested in it. In it, yeah, yeah. yeah it looks funny. It looks right. funny. Funny. Got funny people earlier. Yeah, funny people. I heard good things. 
heard nice things. And number five, Fantastic Beasts. And they also tell you where to find them, so good for you. <laughs> Open it up this week. Got it. Two movies in a wide release and one in uh, limited. So you have the Chris Pratt and Gen Law movie called Passengers, where they're in space. Uh, yeah. And shit happens. Yeah, no, I've space. I, I don't know. I've heard shit. mixed. I heard mixed the things. I heard the script was good. I haven't seen any of the trailers for it, but you haven't seen any trailer? No, I think I've only seen like one trailer for it. Well, I brought a trailer. In. I mean, I know you've seen nah. one, but really? Yeah, no, really. Well, I, I don't. I've uh, seen the posters and shit everywhere. Yeah, I yeah. Been, I've been watching TV a lot lately. I had finals and shit. It was busy. I've heard I bad things. About I don't it really. Yet. I've heard mixed things, but yes, there are bad things about it. Uh, it's kind of disappointing. Yeah. I mean, Chris Pratt, I fucking every, yeah. everything the guy's in. That sounds he's doing good stuff. I'd fuck him. I'd fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jen Law, that fucker passed. I'm just kidding, of course. Come on. Yes. Uh, but no, I mean, that sounds like a good mix. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, Unless, exactly. Two great and actors. Because I haven't heard anything about the acting. I just heard it's a bad movie. So oh, it could really? be the writing, could be the story, Sorry. not yeah. necessarily the acting itself, yeah. which is, you know, I guess a good sign. It's also, I think, at like 12% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, shit. Hold on. So, uh, R- Ryan, we found the next movie that you should go definitely check out uh, in theaters. Oh, right inside to the left. Right. Yeah. Uh, Passengers, which currently has something like a 12% on Rotten Tomatoes. What is that? That's the movie with Chris <laughs> what, Pratt. What is that? Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt, Jen Law? Jen Law. What? They're in space. Only twelve percent. <laughs> that movie yep. sucks. That's Apparently. what I heard. Apparently, yeah. I and I was like, I was actually looking forward to this. I was like, oh kinda, yeah, it looked kind of cool. Yeah, space. I, fucking I love Jen actors. Law, and I and Chris Pratt's fucking cool. So Chris, Pratt. no Raptors. Chris, that's why. Ra- that's what he was missing: a, a motorcycle and Raptors. And, uh, oh, thirty. Thir- one to thirty-three. And thirty-three percent currently. As I'm talking, thirty-three percent. Mm. There's been worse, but okay. But it's, yeah. that's a definitely an indicator for me not to it's see it. No in nine lives, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good callback. Good callback to that Good one movie. What, what is that nine, one movie? What is nine lives? It was a What's cat movie where Cat, John, 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 not John Kevin Wick. Spacey. Kevin Spacey. <laughs> was John, John Wick. <laughs> John Wick's no, a cat. I was gonna say John Cusack, and I was like, that's not John Cusack. Uh, Kevin Spacey is a cat because things. Oh yeah. Uh, wow, yes. Bro, it's exactly. Academy Award winning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some of these people. <laughs> Also opening up this week, which is actually, this is counter-programming. If you can't take your kids to go see, a, not a, only just a Star Wars movie, but a, a war film of Star in Star Wars universe, go check out Sing. Oh, God. It's, it's a thing. What is Sing? Sing is an animated, uh, it's, it's, it's done by the same Diggy. people as, as Despicable Me. Okay. And minions, uh, they have they it. have animals that sing. They're doing a thing. They're doing they're, a, they're doing like a singing. musical. They're putting on a. It's like, it's a bunch of animals putting on a musical. Right. Uh, it's a singing singing com, com, contest. Oh, that's what it is. Singing yeah. contest. Animals having a singing contest. Yeah, yeah. Sounds that's amazing. It. It's so, pitch perfect with pigs. It's, if you have it's kids, pig take them to perfect. that. Pig uh, perfect. Pig. What am I? What am I saying? There's a pig in pitch perfect. Oh, oh! Uh, shout out, Robert Wilson. Uh, Okay. Oh shit! I fucking fuck! Sorry, <laughs> one I, job. I wasn't ready for that. All right, uh, and also you in lim- ready, you gotta be ready for my bangers. Hey. Bro. Here we go. Got it. In limited release, we have a monster calls, which is a new Liam Neeson film where he plays a tree. <laughs> 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 I love my simpler, sim- just just mad libs right right <laughs> fucking mad libs. The movies right now, I mean, but that's it. He's not wrong. No, he's not wrong. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Uh, They're just coming so, out with dog shit right now. What? That was brilliant. Shut the fuck up. Uh, a boy oh. seeks the help of a tree monster to cope with his single mom's terminal illness, and the monster is Liam Neeson. Look, if if <laughs> yeah. Tom Cruise doesn't fall out of an airplane, <laughs> <way. So> <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what would that sound like? <laughs> yeah. well, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Yay, 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 yay. Uh, it sounds neat. I don't know, whatever, dude. Uh, if you're going to go check out the movies, don't even go try. see Rogue One. Yeah, go see Rogue yeah. One. Go see Rogue One. Not Liam Neeson. As Garrett, don't even try to make these movies sound interesting. <laughs> I'm just trying to say it as it's it a, is, It's bro. a tree monster that helps a little boy. Like, 
And then he finds out that his daughter gets it's taken. It's giving tree. <laughs> it's taken. It's the taken tree. Taken tree. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I was, a, <laughs> I, was, I was planted with a certain set of skills. Oh, man. Unfortunately, I'm rooted. I would pay for that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm rooted, so I can't really move anywhere. So you come to me, and then I'll you take you. You come to me, and, and then I'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. But come over here so I can kill you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come here. The Jono. I'll kill you. Uh, <laughs> all right. Moving on to stories. <laughs> Top of my stories. I love this. Came out, I think, uh, December 19th. Monday. So, what is was it? Today Monday? Yeah, today's, today's Monday. Yeah. Yes. Came out today. Trailer for John Wick 2. One Wick, bro. One Wick. One Wick, dude. Which you should all be doing backflips <laughs> for that, by the way. I broke my back. <laughs> oh, shit, God damn that it. works. <laughs> that works. Fuck it. Do you even know what your buttons are, bro? Nope. I just, All right, I just cool. hit stuff. Every time he takes a toke, he forgets what <laughs> is this, which buttons. These <laughs> buttons make sounds. Uh, one Wick Two got a trailer, and it was a really one good one. Wick. <laughs> what was? Hold on. What was the reference to that? What we were talking about? John Wick. I forgot what happened. It was like we like. There was probably something, something else with Mexicans. Else with Mexicans. I would have to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we started doing that with names, and then for some reason that came up. No, but we were talking. We were talking, and then Ricky's like, "Yeah, probably like like Juan Wick." Like Juan Wick. <laughs> and then like we didn't hear him, and he's like, "I don't know why y'all aren't doing backflips <laughs> for that joke I just said." <laughs> and then we had a guess though, and they heard me, and yeah. they were laughing. Oh, okay. Ass, so. And then number one fan, Mireya, was flips. like, "Was like, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing backflips <laughs> for you, Ricky." Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Shout out. Shout out, Mireya. Uh, all right, so this trailer just dropped. We have had one so far, which is basically an announcement trailer, just to let you know that's happening. This very much sets up more of the plot and storyline of the film, which is yep. really cool. If you haven't checked it out, um, definitely go look. I'll probably put it on the Facebook. But this is really cool because not only does he have a dog, we are reassured in this trailer that, that it's dog dead. Is, stays alive. <laughs> it stays alive, so we're cool. No, uh, uh, there is a really a lot of cool stuff. In a nutshell, you have one wick. <laughs> I don't think I can call him John anymore. <laughs> one wick. You have one wick. Uh, That's it. Is, is essentially after his whole escapade in the first one, he has been uh, hired or, or attempted to be hired by someone to probably do something else. That's probably crazy. And he declines, and because that guy gets pissed off, he puts out a hit on Juan Wick. And then Dang. it goes crazy, because he has the entire assassination world against Juan Wick, and Juan Wick kills everybody. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> Go yeah. check out this trailer, because it's fucking awesome. And if you are a fan of the first one, it is probably that times at least two or three. Yeah. And if you don't know what, what the fuck match. we're talking about... Where the fuck have you been? John, Go check out John Wick. John Wick, I didn't watch at first because I thought it was going to be a dumb movie. And yeah, I know, right? I mean, it sounded so dumb. And like, then you really guys, did not you guys were like, dude, well, you, got, you have to see it. It's yes. dope. Yeah. And then I was like, okay. And then I finally watched it. And I was like, the fucking puppy, bro. <laughs> 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 they got to die. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, what's his name? Uh, Greyjoy got to yeah, die. Fucking Greyjoy. Yeah. yeah. Fucking yeah, bitch. It's, it's a really fun, like, shoot em up movie. Yeah, it was yeah. fucking good. Yeah, no, I was kind of saying with you, Ryan, like, when I first saw the trailers and shit for it, like, I kind of, like, stayed away, you yeah. know, but then... It yeah, was I was the like, same way, too. Yeah, everyone's talking. It's like, yeah, eh, I'll check it out when I'm at I home. I feel like it does something... It's weird because it does something that, that keeps itself not from taking itself so seriously, you know? Yeah. Yeah. There's something about it, like, because yeah. it, it's still... There's still great performances in it, but it just... There's something about it that doesn't make it so cheeseball, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's though. Keanu Reeves. Keanu fucking and his amazing Reeves. acting. No, okay, I want to say that this, I, I don't know this. For like, sure. I, mean, I want to say it, this was written for him. I feel like probably. Yeah, probably. Like they're like what? Is, what is Keanu Reeves? Let's make him into an action star. Let's just make a character that is him, but like super yeah. badass. Yeah. Because I, I, I whoa yeah we, it, we were no oh, whatever we were talking about Will Smith earlier. It's kind of yeah. off topic with Keanu Reeves. Do you know he was supposed to be like. He declined to be Neo. Yeah, in the yeah, yeah right. he did. Will Smith, really? He, yeah. he said he didn't, he didn't understand Matrix? what it was. <laughs> you imagine the Matrix with Will Smith I mean, as I wanna, Neo? I want to say that How it would probably be, that movie yeah. would be his character from Men in Black, kind of a little bit. Yeah, I can maybe kind of they that. want it. Like, like, I make I make direction? the Matrix look good. <laughs> 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 sorry, with the sunglasses. I'm sorry. Yeah, that'd be so weird. 
Yeah, so that that would be weird, but definitely Keanu Reeves. This is probably my favorite uh, role that I've ever seen him in. Yeah, Let's it's it's this, it. and and then and then his role in Bill and Ted. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yep. I, I, I don't think I've ever. Oh wait, no, Matrix. Matrix. Yeah, I, Matrix. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm you sorry. Like, you were the biggest it, Matrix no, okay, fanatic okay, when I met you. Yes, for the longest yeah, time, the that was my favorite movie. You I would say that. And everything, bro. I am actually one of the few people <laughs> they called you the yes. Watcher. <laughs> yes, I am one of the favorite, uh, which is also a Keanu Reeves movie. Uh, I am one of the few people that will defend the the second and third films. Not so much the third, but the second one, the Matrix of the Matrix. Yeah. I liked them all. Hmm. I watched all of them. I, I will theater. say they got worse as they started going, yeah, or they kept sure. going. Yeah, sure. But I actually Reloaded enjoyed them pretty all. Dope. Would you just just watch the first one? That's all you need. Just watch. The you Matrix. could. It is true. Okay. You, you could finish I, at the first one, and that's fine. No, I, I saw I saw the sequels in, in theater too. But I mean, just watch the Matrix. You don't need to watch. The yeah. Sequels. Yeah. yeah. So you're just gonna kind of. Re- the coolest thing about and the sequels was the fucking freeway scene in the first in the yeah. In, yeah. What was that? Reloaded. Twins. That's that was reloaded. Reloaded. I'm reloaded. Yeah, that was a great. <laughs> I'm reloaded. Scene. And then after that, it was just kind of like. And then the techno was playing. Yeah. Uh, and we'll yeah, Rob Zombie. Then you got to do uh, you got to do that scene in the Matrix video game. And the Matrix. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say that game was so that game fucking, was fucking dope. Fun. Watch the first Matrix and the Animatrix, and you're good. And play the video game. and play the video games, and you're good. <laughs> yep. I never played the video game. Oh man, it was and the best. Matrix was so dope. It's like PS yeah. one or yeah. two, PS two, two. PS2. Yeah. It was like Max Payne. But you can do the fucking bullet time. Yeah, you can do the everything. bullet time and like it's fuck like everybody up. Ragdoll and shit. Right. It was dope. Like flying everywhere. Mm. Bodies hitting the floor. That the body. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, this one is not so much for Ryan and myself. I just want to mention it. There was uh, released a an announcement trailer for Blade Runner, uh, well, a Blade Runner sequel called Blade Runner 2049 today. Dang. Ryan and I have both not... At least I can't remember watching it. I saw bits and pieces. I watched but like have part you... of it with my dad before, yeah. but like it wasn't really my. What it was old. It was like when did it come out? The first one, oh, Nin- eighty two. Yeah, eighty two. Did you watch it? Literally, like no, no. All right, really, Ricky is the only watched person watched that's watched Blade Holy Runner. Shit, in this that's room, crazy. So I brought this up for you specifically. Uh, you saw the teaser. Pop- I know it's a popular movie, but like, yeah. Do you think? Uh, well, I mean, I've ran into a few people that like don't. Like they won't know like '90s movies. Like you've never seen Three Ninjas. <laughs> you know, like, oh, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, do you think Blade Runner is one of those movies where like everybody talks about it, I, but who I grew think, up in that area? In I know that it's popular for sure. No, I don't yeah. think it's just the '80s era. I think a lot like Blade Runner is just like kind of one of those like sci-fi films like geeky people are just supposed to watch. Yeah. Um, it's on my queue. I still <laughs> not watch it. It's, it's like, oh, I should watch this movie. It's just really hard because like '80s sci-fi movies just. Don't always hold up, you know. Like, no, 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 especially like compared definitely, to like definitely Star not Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying especially compared to Star Wars, for sure. Like a lot oh, yeah. of things don't hold yeah, up. Yeah, but this is very sci-fi. It was like you know very like uh, future, like and like you know there's obviously the whole premise like, is that they're like kind of in what it's like they're in a video game sort of. No, 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 not at no. all. What is what it, it again? That's um, uh, that's called the Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a video game, but it like. He, uh, so it's like the future. Oh, it's, it's like dystopian future. It's, it's like Wreck-It like, Ralph. It's like oh. Rob Zombie's Thirteen. I had never seen that. Movie. Where it's like rich people put people in a maze and they have to go no, through. No, I don't know what. No, what am I thinking of? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, there? Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Running Man. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> what the Jesus fuck? Christ, <laughs> that is way different. I'm thinking of Running Man. Uh, no, way he, different. But he has to fight it? an alien when he covers himself in mud. <laughs> oh, then I've never Run, seen Blade Runner. And then he's like, "What so Harrison Ford?" Blade Runner is the one where like they're. People are clones. Yeah, they're they synthetic they're humans. Billy Bob Thornton. Synthetic humans. They're called synths. It's like basically like robots, but you can't really tell. And they're stuck in a video game called Tron. <laughs> and uh, you have Billy Bob Thornton, and he plays a retard. No. That's the thing, Blade? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Forgetting my reference. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Oh. I don't I didn't get that. Reference, Sling Blade? Oh, thanks, no one's seen Your Sling Blade? No. Apparently not. I've seen that one where it's like mm-hmm. Wesley Snipes, and he's running from a bunch of vampires. <laughs> isn't, that Bla- <laughs> isn't that Blade Runner? <laughs> Uh, nope. Just no, but, but, the, but then he actually has to go through this maze and he, he like he finds all these things. Obviously, there's uh, no point in talking about this anymore. So. Oh, wait, that's Maze Runner. Come on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, go watch it. This whole time, I was thinking of Running Man. I, I, now I know that. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I thought that was a joke at first, but I bet you really. No, it really think. was this whole time. So I have no idea what Blade Runner is. Yeah, <laughs> don't go. I mean, like, the number one thing is also don't go in there thinking it's going to be some crazy action movie. It's not. 
<laughs> it's a Ridley Scott film, which is I'm gonna yeah. tell you. It's it. it it's, oh, okay. It takes some time. Maybe I should it watch it. It's fucking great. Uh, yes. So this this brand new one is executive produced by Rid- Ridley Scott, <laughs> Ridley but it's Scott. actually it's actually directed by uh, Denny Villeneuve. Fuck is that? Danny Bonaduce. Oh, he did. Uh, he did Arrival, didn't he? I uh, believe so. I'm gonna bring bring up his thing. Arrival on so something else. Exactly what the fuck he did. I know he. he I've heard his name many times before. But yeah, fucking Ryan Gosling's in this. Yes, exactly. And Harrison Perfect motherfucking body. Ford. Isn't he in the original? Yes, Harrison Ford's in the original. Yes. Oh, okay. not yeah. not Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I don't know Schwarzenegger. Okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> All right. I th- okay. <laughs> I'm just maybe I'm just confusing the two. I don't even know. Den- <laughs> yes. Denny Villeneuve uh, very he directed right Arrival. He also did Sicario. Oh, Sicario. Oh, Sicario. Hey, oh. Enemy, enemy, enemy prisoners. He did. Uh, enemy. Which one's that one? Enemy of the State. Will Smith. Yeah, no, that was it. As far as the ones I knew, <laughs> no, he did, he's done a lot more. Uh, Enemy, I don't know what the fuck this is. Uh, he has uh, Javier and Barbie. Jose. No, <laughs> what the fuck. <laughs> oh, I know those guys. There's no people that I know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought it Arnold said. Arnold, wow, wow, wow. I thought it said Jake Gyllenhaal, and then I was like, oh, wait, that's not him. <laughs> 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 Jesus Uh, No, Prisoners had Jake Gyllenhaal, though. So there you go. And uh, Wolverine. Oh. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Uh, All right. Uh, Okay, so Harrison Ford and... Arnold Schwarzenegger in, 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 in a, a, in a eight. <laughs> <laughs> wait, whoa! No, Har- it's Harrison Ford and Arnold Schwarzenegger on Mars. On yes. Mars. Oh, um, and, and then in a uh, video game. And yep. then you have John Connor coming up from Earth in a spaceship. But there's also Velociraptors. Yeah, yeah. And so the Velociraptors are like on <laughs> Mars. <laughs> X Files. Mm-hmm. And the aliens with the three tits. Aliens. Yeah. yeah. All right, we, we we took it too far. We did. Uh, we are we are gross, going into crazy territory. All right, <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know. Words. We are crazy. We are crazy. Hey, what did we say we were gonna put that to? To the T Rex? Oh no, the, the uh, mummy. Oh. You were supposed to get on that mummy gift, bro. Yeah, come on, That's bro. Right. Well, Ricky's gonna send me the drop. Oh, okay. But God damn it, do? get on it. You gotta send me that send MP3 that. file. Which one? That, that. that for the T Rex. You just hit it. Oh, got it, got it, got it. All right, uh, all right. Moving on. So there was also another trailer to the next Amy Schumer film. Everyone, we know you've been waiting, uh, and Ryan loves it. <laughs> like, will you stop saying that? Right. This is Ryan's favorite film of the next year. <laughs> I just said you were hating on it too hard. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so the new film is called Snatched. Uh, it is a new b- film with Goldie Hawn and Amy Schumer, where Brad Pitt, where she basically Brad Pitt's a boxer. Not, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, is it Snatch? Yeah. Okay. I was like, wait, what? Was it? Okay. <laughs> you like Dags? You like Dags? You like Dags? Oh, thanks, bro. Oh, thanks. Your references are out of control. Everyone knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Schumer plays uh, Amy Schumer in the same character she played in Train Trainwreck, uh, but her mom is is now Goldie Hawn. So uh, you okay. remember her? That's a that's a person who surprisingly is a train wreck <laughs> who looks horrible. Uh, she is an old woman. Like let her. She looks terrible. She looks like the in between version of oh, Andy Serkis how and old is Goldie Gollum. Hawn? She's probably like. A thousand. Yeah, she looks like the in between between Andy Serkis and Gollum. After looking at her now, <laughs> when 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 they go through that whole transitionary period, in, in <laughs> the person that comes up when I Google her name is Goldie Hawn dead. <laughs> <laughs> she she, she kind of looks like a re, reanimated She's version 70, of her body. She is seventy one years old. Seventy one. Like, so she may as well be dead. Old. She looks ninety. Okay, she does look good for seventy one. I'll She's give her that. No, yeah. I don't I mean, think it's not that. Hold bad. on, like old white women don't age well, dude. I Especially would, Goldie Hawn. Goldie, uh, yeah, the moisturizer. Somebody. Look up a regular like seventy-one-year-old like a not mo- not movie star. No, black women always look good too. Yeah, yeah black women look good. Black I don't know who else crack. would be seventy-one? Uh, seventy-one. Susan Sarandon. Or like Betty White. She's like a thousand. Yeah, Betty White. Uh, doesn't count. She's supposed to. Susan Sarandon seventy. And she Susan looks. Bu- I'm banging the Sarandon fuck out of Susan yeah. Sarandon. How the fuck the shit out of Susan Sarandon? <laughs> yeah, too. Oh, yeah but Susan Goldie Sarandon. Hawn looks stupid. Well, Goldie Hawn's got some real bad plastic surgery going on. Yeah. Look, okay. And w- w- I'm even going to take out, like, I'm not even counting her tits. Her face looks good. Yeah, she has great tits for, I'm talking about Susan Sarandon. Well, she definitely got those worked on. <laughs> I don't know. Her daughter, her daughter, they're, they're those are natural. Genetic. Yeah. 
Yeah, bro. Yeah, but old, like, 71-year-old saggy tits. They gotta I don't be, give a fuck, they gotta, I mean, I mean, they got to be perked up, for sure. They got to be worked on somehow. There's a lot of tape in there. Magic. Magic. All you right. Don't even know <laughs> hate. Like, she's 70 I'm years old. I'm not hating it. Okay. She looks great. I'm saying, I'm saying that's like that's just maintenance. Yeah. <laughs> well, she did the proper maintenance, which Goldie Hawn appears to not have. Yeah. Uh, so she looks like Donald Trump. Ew, Goldie <laughs> Hawn <laughs> with a mole. Yeah. Yeah. Donald Trump with some bangs. All right. Uh, so yeah, Amy Schumer plays uh, herself, and uh, they go on a vacation to South America because she got dumped, just like. Other stuff. Well, Everything. she got dumped. At, they were supposed to go on the vacation together. Yes. So she had these reservations and everything already done. So she took her mom. Well, she already had tickets to South America. Her mom can't come. Her name's not on the ticket. That's no, not bro. Movie magic. Man. Movie right. magic, bro, bro. Not everybody gets non-transferable shit. It's not non-transferable. It's just <laughs> TSA. Yeah. You buy a ticket, your name has to be on it. It's not yeah, on it. Yeah. You ain't flying. That's a good point. I never even thought about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She so bought another ticket. Fuck it. Boom. Yeah, bro, she's You're coming with me to South America. Works. Then they go to South America and they get hit on. But then there's like tra- like drug traffickers and like human traffickers. And there's all sorts of crazy shit that happens. And uh, also apparently, and I just read this, there is a cast that is not even in the fucking trailer that I didn't know. Joan Cusack is in this. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Wanda oh. Sykes is also in this. Oh, cool. Fuck? Right. Yeah. And like all these, like, like you have people. Like, funny people. Yeah. This whole trailer, like, w- there's two trailers that got put out. There was a regular one and a red band trailer. Mm-hmm. And in none of those trailers did I see those people. Ooh, ooh, I could but see, I see what they're marketing towards, though. Mm-hmm. It's, it's. Well, oh, also, okay. I just noticed this. Snatch is in theaters May 12th, which just happens to be Mother's Day weekend. Uh, yeah. There you go. All right. So there's your audience. That's there's why, your audience. That's why Golden Rock's <laughs> in it. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, and yep. a- anybody who liked Trainwreck, and I mean, they keep marketing. Uh, this is Trainwreck plus what, a mom. What's her fuck? Uh, Amy, Amy Schumer. They keep they keep marketing her like, you know, this empowering woman because there are so many other funny. She's a women. regular looking gal, but it's like, I nah. just because she's chubby and she tells some shitty jokes doesn't mean she's like the best <laughs> one out there. I know, there. I know, you guys don't really like her, but I think you know. No, I actually do. No, like, I, I actually I, like I, her. I think like a, what, I don't Eliza like this Schlesinger. I think she's way more funnier Ugh. than. Oh, you God, don't like I her? I can't stand that bitch. <laughs> oh, well, I, and I just saw her go. at the improv the other day too, and she was fucking terrible. Oh well, I enjoy her. I, I haven't seen that, but yeah. I like. I've seen Trainwreck, and I like that. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I saw Trainwreck. Uh, Amy Schumer's a way better stand-up than Elijah Schlesinger, like hands down. Yeah. All right. Uh, she's a great stand-up. I don't know what to think after you know she got. Oh, copper. Well, I, I stealing think jokes or I've, whatever. But what sucks uh, with that is it's, it's not like who, who stole jokes. Well, supposedly Amy Schumer did a lot of uh, jokes that that were written by other comics, female com- like famous female comics, and even Patrice O'Neill. Uh, famous black comic that died a few years ago. Oh, well, Dang. like, it, and the thing is, like, her <laughs> and like Patrice, she died. She you can't, can't even like, her and Patrice O'Neill. Like, they they were in the same club in the cellar in New York. Like, yeah, I know. You know, oh, so sure. they all knew each other. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, so maybe that was her. I'm job. sure it happens. You know, like, I I can't see it not happening. Yeah. Yeah. Not happening to me. Like coming like, up with something, you get you, you get influenced by something, and then you think it's yours. But like, yeah, like just because you fine. fucking heard it, and then you thought about it, and you forgot that somebody else had said it. You know, like I can. But see not that only happening. that, like I remember she got a lot of shit from her show about like uh, some but of that, her sketches. That, but it's not just her. You have other writers in there who are. Yeah. Like, oh writing. yeah, well oh, she yeah. Would, fucking uh, what's his name? Kurt Metzger writes for her, and yeah. he gets shit all the time about being misogynistic. But the same comp- the same write uh like bloggers that write about him being a piece of shit mm-hmm. and he, why and they don't understand why he's writing on Amy Amy Schumer's show are also the same bitches that talk about how Amy's so brave with sketches that he wrote. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So like he'll write a sketch and they're like, Oh my god, Amy Schumer just like broke down so many boundaries on her show and he's like, Bitch, I wrote that yeah. shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. I brought down those boundaries. <laughs> um, a man did it. <laughs> he's, he's actually a feminist, but like he gets like hated on by like hardcore feminists on the internet because really? he's got no a idea. dick and he can't make right. fucking jokes That's about. So women. weird. People yeah. on the internet are hating on people. So it's but, not um, uncharacteristic of <laughs> internet people. What's the point I'm trying to make? Uh, this movie looks like it could be a good, fun movie to go see with your mom or your fan. I mean, it's like they're trying to recreate. It seems like a female Pineapple Express. Uh, almost, yeah, I-, I can see that. Well, you know. Girls don't have the same sense of humor. No, yeah, I get it. Okay, Ooh. here's my main thing. Okay, so in the uh, we watched both trailers. In every in both those trailers, I did laugh at least twice. 
None of those times were because of well, Amy Schumer. And how many how many comedy movie com, put that in quotes comedy movie trailers have you watched this year that made you laugh at all? Very true. Oh, a few of them, but not a lot. But I, I, I think that's, my, that's my point. Comedy is hard. I, I, I will say that. Gonna, I'm not saying it's easy. It's going to be a funny movie. It, like you can't take anything more out of it than what it is. It, it's just it's going to be a dumb fucking buddy comedy mom comedy that you watch. But I, I, I think the hard, like the weirdest thing is like because we're in a time now where like Amy Schumer is like on this pedestal of just like just feminism and, and women, and, right. I, and I'm completely fine with that. But I just think sometimes if you criticize. Like her work, as you would with like anybody else, it's looked at more like, oh, you're just trying to, you know, like you're just sexist. I don't think so. What, not really, but like sometimes, like I, I, I think Amy. Schumer I see what you're trying funny. to say, but I, I don't think I don't think that you know you can't criticize her. Oh no, you can, but then people are just you know sometimes label you as uh, it's right. Just like, no, I'm, sure, I'm criticizing the comedy, not the the person. Like I, I don't think right. women aren't funny. I just think sometimes Amy Schumer is just not funny. Yeah. Um, I agree, but I also think like my main thing was also I don't like her acting in this film, uh, at least in the trailers. Uh, there's a lot of stuff where it just looks very, very like just like phoned in kind of. I know she's not an actor, but she's she's starting to be an actor. She's putting out these films. Like she may be talented in a lot of ways, but well, the only like, one she's actually done is the one she wrote. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Train, right? yeah. yeah, yeah. But like, and, and I don't and know, like, show. and that was fine. But I, I haven't really watched her show. But this right now, at least in this trailer, I'm like, okay, it's got moments. Yeah. I can tell that you, I can tell that the material is funny and it can be put, but like your acting, I just don't like it. Yeah. Uh, at least in in this particular thing, so that kind of threw me off. Again, um, it's yes, a, it's I, a, I was it's a comedy movie. I'm, I'm trying not to hate on it that much out of it, but yeah, I yeah. Uh, well, it's like just seeing watching like a new Adam Sandler movie trailer. Sure. It's just like Jesus. Adam Christ. Sandler's not that great an actor either. No, it's just like this. Yeah, is I'm, I'm no, I don't know anyone that's saying Adam Sandler's a good actor. <laughs> no, I was just comparing like that's comedy a pretty, to yeah, comedy. But that's a good point though. It's just you know you can't expect the like fucking Oscar award winning shit in like a quirky comedy movie. Yeah. Well, no, I mean yeah, but like like still it. Like let's uh, bring it back. We're, we're talking about like Twenty One Jump Street type of stuff. And those, like, but and those like, guys are are a, like actors and actors, kind of Academy war, Award Channing winning Channing Tatum, bro. Jonah Hill. No, he's terrible. Yeah. No, no, Channing Tatum's good in those movies, though. Yeah, but he's not a good actor. No. Yeah. I'm getting better. Uh, either way, I think she, if she works in it, it might be good. It's fine. Let's talk about someone who isn't an Academy <laughs> Award winning actor. <laughs> yeah. <face>. <laughs> <laughs> I can see his stupid face on the fucking screen. Uh, Academy Award winning. Let me let me just let that sink in real quick. Academy. What, what movies did he win awards for? What was no, it like Leaving Las Vegas? He is. No, he Leaving is. Las Vegas is a good movie. Trust me, he is. I think that's where he won. Because in this trailer, it says it in big fucking letters. Academy Award winning. That's Nicolas Cage. Ricky, look up the, what movies he got awards for. And Nicolas Cage makes a movie... Uh, that if you're a fan of Entourage, and this is exactly what I thought, uh, this is essentially just uh, Midian. <laughs> this is this is Nicolas Cage being Pablo, being Vinny Chase, being Pablo Escobar uh, in his brand new trailer for his film yeah, Arsenal, like which, funnily enough, has Adrian Grenier, who is Vinny Chase from Ar- from Entourage. So, uh, oh, Jesus! All right, I have, yeah, to, get, I have to get through this. This is gonna be we'll funny. Be in Las Vegas. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it, and then he got nominated for a second one uh, at film adaption in two thousand two. That's it. You win one, yeah, and, and yeah. that's it. You don't. You yeah. could be in the stupidest thing in the world, and you're still Academy Award winning. Well, well I mean, yeah. Nicolas so Cage is kind of yeah. like Hollywood royalty, though. Yes, you know. Yeah. Was, what was it? His dad or his uncle, Francis Ford I just, Coppola? I love this picture so badly. Like, I just, I, <laughs> it's fucking Tony Clifton. It is Tony Clifton. It looks like Tony Clifton. Do you okay, guys know no, who Tony okay. Clifton is? Uh, no, I don't. Ricky, look up Tony Clifton. Tony Clifton. You guys never saw Man on the Moon? No. Jim Carrey. It's it, it's uh, Andy oh, Kaufman's yeah, alter ego. Yeah, it's Andy Kaufman's alter ego where Tony Clifton would drink and exactly and woman. Like <laughs> but now this is oh, a. Yeah, I got put on here. But now you have. Okay, I want to show Ryan because you've never really seen uh, Entourage. So this is like th- this is the joke movie that he did where yeah. it was bad because he had bad makeup on. Oh yeah, that looks Tony like Clifton. That's Tony Clifton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you have Tony Clifton, you have you have Adrian Grenier playing Vincent Chase playing Pablo Escobar, and you have now uh, Nicolas Cage 
as whoever the he, fuck he, he is. He looks fu- like I don't get why they couldn't try and make him look a little convincing. Yes, well, I think, and that's what I'm trying to like understand. Well, things I've heard before about Nicolas Cage, he just fucking does things, and they're just like, <laughs> all right, I guess this is what he's doing. We paid him like, for something, and he gave us something. Yeah, it's like all right, like uh, what was it? I think in the the sequel to Ghost Rider. Like he was all CG when he was like Ghost Rider, yeah. but for some reason, like he wanted to paint his face like a skull when he was like standing in, and for no reason <laughs> was it going to be on film. This is what he I just, they just like. I'm a method actor. I'm a method face. actor. Give me I'm a method face. actor. They just let him paint his face like in a skull to go do the scene. He's a That's why crazy I see, like, it's like, it's like those little like kids, like, oh, you're gonna get a skull. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh shit! Like, yeah, I am, and it's gonna be on fire. It's just <laughs> So the skull's gonna be on fire. <laughs> it's just like just black out his eyes. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> Do I look uh, scary? Come a ghost. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. He's, he's like he's like Adam West and Family Guy. He's just a fucking yeah, weirdo. He's fucking weirdo. <laughs> Could be, to be honest. Oh, All right, man. so I, I really wanted to bring up this trailer just because of how ridiculous. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, show us. What is this? He painted his face in Ghost Rider. Oh, oh, there's an actual picture of it. Or we're yeah. we're gonna show our audience. Oh my god! <laughs> like, is he didn't it really? Need to. He did is not need really to. It, it was <laughs> all CG. <laughs> oh my but god! But he went on the set every day and just sh- did sh- that. Show show the viewers after after this. What the? Jeez. fuck? <laughs> it is full on. It's like I don't. Just cause that's amazing. That's They're like he shit. didn't need yeah. to do it. He just Why? wanted to. Cause my head's on fire. And I need them to feel like my head's are on you, fire. Are you sure his son? Wait, hopefully, I can see that. Are you sure his son didn't? Wait, I'll check right now. I'll check <clears> right didn't right do right. that because he's a famous black metal artist. You know that his yeah. son is completely like kind of normal now. Is he now? Yeah, yeah. he was like an MMA, MMA fighter slash played bass for like a metal band, and he was like, "What really? really? Yeah, what the hell? Played like black metal or something? Oh, oh yeah, there you go. All right, well, uh, check out the trailer for Arsenal because it sounds like an amazing Academy Award winning film. It's fucking face, dude. Yeah, I can't, I can't handle it. It's amazing. Uh, it's if you want a good t- good laugh, definitely check out the trailer. <laughs> Do I uh, look like a fucking retard, man? <laughs> no, but he actually he gives you some nice sound drops. You guys were talking over some of it. But he's like, "Oh my god, yeah. that- you owe me fucking money! Yeah, you owe me fucking money! Yeah, uh, it, it's crazy. What what about that that one fuck man? Why don't we have drops from the uh, Nicolas Cage losing his shit? There it is. There it is. A B C D. All right, we got to play a little bit of this. Wait, where he loses his? Oh shit. god. Oh yeah. This is this is one of my favorite. YouTube no, go videos. later on. The, the best ones are like in the middle. Put it on the screen. What am I a fucking retard man? Am I a fucking retard? I know what this is. Don't try to stop me out because of this crazy little. Oh shit. Now put it up. We'll feed our fucking friends. Someone's trying to kill me, man. Oh, the fucking hangers! <laughs> the river just goes away. The goddamn contract is somewhere in the goddamn fucking files! Fuck! <laughs> fuck! 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 you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck Mexico! <laughs> I hate you. I hate you both. I should fucking both. Just right now, I should fucking kill you. Fucking both. Have you ever been dragged to the sidewalk and beat until you pissed blood? No. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck. Fuck. Ah. 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 I can watch this. Yeah, I can watch this for yeah, fucking hours. We need to stop this because I, I will watch this entire. I'll thing. watch the whole thing. God, he yeah. really goes. He for just it. goes yeah. for it. He All makes right. choices. He does. Good for him. We need uh, to, we need the drop. We need the sound drop. Fuck Mexico. <laughs> we need that. Yes, please. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is it for me, guys. Let's go ahead and go on to Ryan's stories. Oh no! Oh no! Secrets of nature's deepest mystery. She is literally like launching eggs out of her pussy. The poo poo, eat the poo poo guy. So they just like tie up these dudes and fart in their face. <laughs> now, maybe cut off his dick. This is gonna blow your fucking mind. Are you ready? Yeah. 
So to kick things off, let's talk about these two uh, Kentucky men who Kentucky. who uh, accidentally dialed nine one one and were discussing the robbery plans to rob the barbecue place that they were actually eating at. Oh, okay. <laughs> David Grigsby and Robert Bourne, no relation to Jason, better not be, <clears throat> were arrested on Saturday after they accidentally called 911, tipping off authorities to their alleged plan to rob a barbecue restaurant. Nice. Where the local police, ch- oh, the police chief ha- happened to be eating at. It just gets better and better. <laughs> uh, they were, oh, they were sitting outside. Why? Sorry, I'm sorry. So uh, they were sitting in the car outside of Brothers Barbecue in Danville when an emer- when the uh, emergency function went off on their phones. Wow! And they called a nine one one dispatcher. The dispatcher listened into the call, heard the two men allegedly discussing uh, places they might rob, including Brothers Barbecue. Nice. Authorities determined where the call uh, originated and contacted Danville Police Chief Tony Gray, who, as it turned out, was enjoying his meal inside the restaurant. Perfect. (coughs) Oh, man. So uh, it seems that the men may have been sauced while they were... (laughs) Yeah, no shit. (laughs) While they were making their plans. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Warren and uh, Grigsby were both charged with public intoxication... Grigsby was also charged with disorderly conduct and possession of an open container in a vehicle. Nice. So, just chilling outside, and have yeah. <laughs> drinking beers, planning out their <laughs> robbery, and then like where where do you, calling like, 911. What city yeah. was this in? It's, so, it's fucking Hickville, Kentucky, somewhere. Like, and, and your big score is robbing the barbecue place. The barbecue <laughs> place <laughs> that the town sheriff is, is already eating. At. eating. We got to make sure we go after fucking lunch hour. <laughs> we got all the money in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, like, who are you going to get? The armed robber. Yeah, who are you going to call? The armed robber that comes. I mean, the, uh, the armored uh, vehicle driver that comes in and gives you your deposits. Yeah, these like, guys are dumb dumbs. Maybe, <laughs> and that's why they got caught. Yeah, <laughs> all right. It, it reminds me of this. Uh, that I don't know if you brought it in or or I read this, but it was like these guys that they were so high that they turned themselves in because they thought that there was a bunch of undercover cops, like just I don't fucking think I brought them. that in. But oh, I think oh, I had, really? I didn't okay, that, okay. Yeah. So so there was a quick quick story. So these guys were so high that they called nine one one. They're like, hey, uh, we know you guys are following us. We just want you guys to stop. Like we, <laughs> like we waved you down, but no one stopped, and they were, they were just so fucking high oh, out of their minds that they were paranoid, and they thought that all of the co- all of the regular cars on the freeway were undercover cops, just <laughs> following them, circling them, like they were wow. pretty, like in their heads, and that they called we're everywhere, and and so this is a recorded nine one one call, and the guys like I have to find this. The, the guys like what? what I'm, I'm, who? What? He's like, no, no, like, don't stop playing with us. We know that you guys know that we have. And they, I think they had like like pounds of weed or something in their in their their trunk. And they were they were they were driving over borders. Uh, oh my God. And like, we know you guys know we're stopped outside. And they said exactly where they were. We just want one of you to just come get us because like one call just for oh, shit, oh there it is. no there it is yeah that's probably it. More documents the two men felt like they well one. you just. Uh, uh, oh, there go back. Cut. There we go. The Madison K91. Yeah. Hi, uh, where are the two dumbasses that got caught uh, trying to uh, bring some stuff through your border and all your cops are just driving around us like a bunch of jack wagons? And I just really would like you guys to end it. If you guys, if you could help me out with that, we just like to get, get on with it. You got caught doing what? Uh... God. Okay. Um, <laughs> we kind of got food here, trying to bring some stuff across your Idaho border. What state is this? Oh, okay. And, Idaho border. Uh, yeah, border. a bunch of your cops driving around a bunch of civilian cars. Just civilian not cars. Want to pick us up. No, I don't know what's, so. what's the deal. I was just wondering if you could help us out and just end it. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. The, oh they, they, my god. The the rest of the call is literally them negotiating them getting a marked police officer car to come and arrest them. 
Well, it's kind of like that. Did you ever hear that story about the cop who like confiscated like some edibles from somebody? Yeah. Who was oh on no, I, I heard about and that. And then ate them, and they yeah. called like, "Oh, we're dying. We're dying." Yeah. No, he we're he dead. confiscated a pound of weed and then took it home and made oh the made and, brownies, and made brownies, but didn't know how to uh, fucking make them or dose them. Yeah. So him and his wife got high as fuck. Yeah. Nice, and they're dead. And they <laughs> yeah, died. And they were dead. He's uh, like, we're no. He's like, "Yep, I think we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> yeah. We are dead." He's like, "Yep, we're dead." Oh man. Just, just send medical, please. <laughs> I do not miss living out there in the Midwest and <laughs> the States. I bet. Yeah, it's got to be crazy. Deal with these Lovely. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Uh, fishermen hooked two massive great whites off Carolinas. Jesus what? Christ. It's looking to be a great white... Oh, I fucking hate dude, Huffington Post. It's looking <laughs> to be a great white Christmas off the coast of South Carolina. Hey! Fuck you get it? You get it? Um, great. A, a, fishing, a fishing crew off Hilton Head Island reeled in two massive great white sharks last week, the largest of which weighs an estimated 3,000 pounds. Jesus. Jesus. What? Wait. Right. Holy. With a, a 3, fishing pole? Pounds? They just had a fishing pole. Yeah, the fuck? Are they, how did they get that? Uh, it doesn't specify what they were actually fishing for. Maybe they were shark fishing and they just didn't expect to get a great white. Yeah, damn. I didn't know great whites were like hitting the coast. I thought those were like down in like I don't know, off the coast of Africa and shit. No, man. You can they're everywhere. They're yeah, they're fucking everywhere. I don't watch Animal Planet that often. <laughs> I don't know where yeah. they hang out. Uh yeah, this is uh, apparently this is the one that they caught was one that they that they had seen before that like ocean in Jaws. Ocean, oceanographers have been uh, or uh, what are they fucking called? Marine marine biologists? Or yes, uh, that's a term. They were uh, monitoring this one. It's thirty five hundred pounds that had been zigzagging off the coast oh there. Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus! Look, like, what do you do when you catch a great white? You let it go. Yeah. Just well, really? It. Yeah. All right. It says good. they put a. Uh, they put an acoustic tag on him and sent him on his way. The acoustic tag will allow scientists who study sharks to be able to learn from him for years. So gonna, it's like a tracking device. He's going to yeah. swim on to almost acoustic Christmas. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's Open fucking up for Weezer. nuts, dude. <laughs> he's opening for Weezer. <laughs> 3,000 pounds of a, sh- of a sh- fucking that's shark. That's a Jesus. shit ton of... That's, that's literally... Something you that want is track. one shit ton of shark. <laughs> that's... Yeah. No, yeah. that's that's like that's probably an actual three shit, shit tons. <laughs> a, no, it's a shit net. What? Was it a ton? A, a, a thousand? thousand? I thought it was two thousand. Was it two thousand? Yeah, it's two thousand pounds. I want to say a ton. I thought a ton was one thousand. Ricky, look it up. Ricky, go. Look it up. I thought it was like what? Like, I thought it was two thousand. Two thousand pounds. pounds. No, 2000? that's my guess. It's uh, apparently approximately a, a metric shit ton is two hundred sixty-four point two gallons of people. Gallons? <laughs> what about no, pounds? pounds. Gallon. Pounds. I'm looking it up, bro. I got I got to transfer it. How many pounds? Yeah, a ton. One ton to don't give me some pounds. fucking kilos and shit. What is this? Two metric, point <laughs> no, yeah, okay, system. boom, boom, right here. Drug so one man. U.S. ton is two uh, thousand pounds. pounds. Okay, okay. Two thousand pounds. Boom. So he's one and a half shit tons of <laughs> of shark. <laughs> of shark. That's crazy. That's cray cray. I heard shark meat's pretty damn good though. It is. I've had shark fin soup uh, as an Asian because it's a delicacy. I in China. love seafood. I love fish. Honestly, I had shark fin soup when I was a kid, but it was with like white people. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, wait, no, with white people or making the white people made it? White people made it. What the weird. shit? Yeah, it was like a kid on He's my like soccer shark team. in the water. That's a little bit more we weird. We went to his house and like, oh, yeah. this is like shark fin soup. Well, I will say this. So the only thing I would have accepted, well, not accepted, but like, it would also is that uh, Chinese restaurants, the greatest Chinese restaurants have Mexican chefs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah white ch- people, though, that's kind of weird. I've never, I've never. It was just at their house, so yeah. Oh, at their house. Yeah, it, was at, it wasn't Whoa. like a restaurant. Me- Mexican chef. They it fucking hooked it. Mexican they, chef. You know what? They could have been Mexican. <laughs> yeah. When I was a kid, I didn't know. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you're not black. You're not black. You're white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were not this 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 tone right here. <laughs> if you're white, you're Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I, I think I was like in like <laughs> first grade. <laughs> You're better. Oh, thanks, bud. Dude, your references are out of control. Everyone knows that. <laughs> you're white, you're Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. <laughs> All right, that's it for me, guys. Uh, so, oh, wait, this will nice. be dropped on Wednesday, right? So, no. Yeah, I'm uploading it uh, tomorrow, so it'll be up well, there. Well, fuck it. Happy Wednesday. Uh, yes. Happy Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, oh, New Year's is the week after. No, we're going to have one more before New Year's, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 But Happy New Year for me, because I will not be here. Oh, so yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Have fun. Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Oh, Kwanzaa. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and a uh, happy good year. What the fuck was that? Merry Christmas. Oh. <laughs> that.
And the happy good new year. <laughs> that was that was Garrett. Ch- that was Garrett trying to be Al Pacino like three years ago. Oh, that was you trying to be Al Pacino. <laughs> yeah. Drunk as fuck. Drunk, though. That yeah, sounded right like there. you trying to be like an, a, <laughs> a Japanese, a Japanese guy. chef. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, there you go. All right, I was incredibly drunk. Okay. Yeah, but, and, no, but I didn't no, know no, it was no, being no, recorded. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't know it was being recorded. <laughs> Wait a minute. And it was just the, the echo. That's how you, that, that, was, that was in the hallway how, next to me. That's how your Al Pacino sounded like the week before that <laughs> yeah, when we did. when we did the podcast. <laughs> it did. So that's why we that's asked you to do it that, that way. I don't remember that at all. That's why we asked you to do it. I don't remember. Yeah, because right. his Al Pacino. I mean, we gotta go. We uh, need to find some. Uh, somebody has to take the time to go uh, back and find those old drops of like know, right? terrible fucking <laughs> <laughs> terrible Al Pacino. Yeah, Al Pacino. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. Jesus, Christ. somebody. It was one fine. of our fans. Yeah, it was if, fine. If, I mean, if you're gonna, do, I mean, you could do an easy Al Pacino. Was it Son of a Woman? Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah, that's what all. That. We're well, that's what we're all doing. I'm not gonna do a. <laughs> you uh, sound like one. Japanese. Yeah, you sound like a sushi chef. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You want a sushi? <laughs> like was my order's Sookie done. Bowl? Like, thank you. He's like, oh, she got a great ass. Yeah. Ooh, oh man. Cool. All right, yeah. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, yes. everybody. Uh, I'm going to end. Or actually, wait. We got to uh-huh. do our plugs. Yeah. Uh, yes. uh, thank you so much for our guest, Stephen Rogers. Hey. hey. Where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter um, at Steve X Rogers. Um, Facebook, I guess I got one. <laughs> I don't really use it. Maybe, kind of. It's, yeah, right. it's Google. There. I just reactivated it. Um, but yeah, no, you can find me on Twitter. At Steve X Tweets the Rogers. Be sure to check us out on Twitter and Instagram at Humpcast. Garrett, where can they download us? They can go ahead and find us on SoundCloud or subscribe to us on iTunes and Stitcher. And if you're listening to us on Ripped Radio, thank good you. for you. <laughs> and thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, of course, you can also <laughs> follow us on Facebook and keep up to date uh, with our Instagram and Twitter and at live Humpcast stream. and live stream. Yeah. Ed Humcast and uh, Ryan D. Where can they find you? Let's not forget that this episode is brought to you by Proco Pro Production Company. Pa, ro, co, pa, ro, co, pa, ro, co. <laughs> I, I want to. Yeah. And uh, you guys can come out to see me do stand up again at the Silver Dollar Saloon locally yeah. for free. Full freezies on yeah, January third yeah, yeah, after yeah, the new yeah. year. It's oh a, yeah, that's coming up real soon. Yeah, actually. it is already. So I got to make a flyer. That's because we're yeah, real like busy on the two weeks. I'll have the flyer tonight, uh, and then yeah. I'll also be doing a South Omani show on Friday night, January twenty seventh at La Cueva. Nah, fuck that. Go to the dollar. <clears throat> yeah, but go to the dollar. That'll be fun. Yeah. No, Ooh. actually, go to the other one because I'm getting two separate lineups, and they're going to be two opposite ends of. Yeah, is it the Cuerva yeah. like your um, new spot you're trying it's to... It's the new spot I'm yeah. trying to so go yeah, to that so one. Yeah, so yeah, go to the Go Cuerva. to both of them. Fuck it. You'll have Amy Schumer on one and Liza Schlesinger one's on the other Tuesday, one. One's a Tuesday, one's a Friday. I, you know, I would prefer you went to both of them, but, you know, fuck it. One's a Friday, so... Uh, I, I will be at the Silver Dollar one because reasons, okay. so go there. And then follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan P. Demarest, and be safe out there, guys. Wear a condom. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Garrett underscore Am Lee. And then you can go ahead and follow my daily happenings that I tweet or not tweet, but Snapchat on Snapchat at Mitch underscore Striker. Cool. And you can follow me at Twitter.com slash Ricky C. My Instagram is Ricky C 90. And because it's Christmas, I'm going to end on a Christmas song. All right. Oh. Uh, this is a song from the Fright. It's the theme from uh, Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Uh, there's this band called The Frights I found who released a Christmas single you called sh- Christmas Every Day. Yeah. yeah. They've been around for a while. Yeah, I know. I love yeah. The Frights. I just, I just found them out. Just found them. But they have a new single out called Christmas Every Day. Check it out. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. From my mom that she'll probably return It's a candle that smells like a peach when it burns So call up the family, give them all a hello Tell them I'll see them soon, but I probably won't There's a band in the park playing Christmas songs While it's 90 degrees, but the kids sing along They say, hey, hey, hey I want Christmas every day I say, hey, hey, hey I want Christmas every day Christmas today, I want Christmas
breakfast tomorrow Got a great pumpkin pie recipe you can borrow I say, hey, hey, hey I want Christmas every day And a t-shirt that matches I say hey, hey, hey I want Christmas every day I say hey, hey, hey I want Christmas every day I want Christmas today 